Live from Union Square in San Francisco, the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade with your hosts, Ben Fong Torres and Julie Hayner. Good evening, I'm Ben Fong Torres. And I'm Julie Hayner. Thanks for joining us as we celebrate one of the world's largest and most important holidays, the Lunar New Year. Energy is high in horse years, and we are ready to jump right into this parade. <laughs> Tens of thousands of people have gathered now to watch the pomp and pageantry of the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. In the Chinese zodiac, one of five elements energizes each of the 12 animals. And in this Chinese year, 4712, it's the wood horse. But there's nothing wooden about reaction times this year. Pondering and planning was so last year. This is the time to act fast. And that's our cue to get to the starting line, the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. Well, take a look now. Presidio Knoll School marking its first appearance in the Lunar New Year Parade. Welcome. The school sits near the Asian Art Museum in what it refers to as one of the sunniest pockets of San Francisco. What a bunch of cutie pies. Well, now they're dressed for the uh, cooler elements, or what I'd say is a typical summer day in San Francisco. The Mongolian theme leads off with the fearless Genghis Khan in full costume, complete with furs. And Genghis Khan was proclaimed ruler of the Mongols in the early 13th century. They are so cute. They have some of the youngest participants in this parade. They're just, oh, look at that one right there. <laughs> Not having to walk. I think I like that little part there. They get to sit. Oh, look at how adorable their costumes are there. And they, they're just looking and having a good time. Not scared at all by all the loud noises and the scary dragons. And they don't have to walk. The warriors and princesses are dressed in traditional deals. In addition to being the basis of almost all Mongolian clothes, it can serve as a blanket, tent, and cover against unwanted glances. Just adorable. Well, it's time now for another fun fact. What do tangerines and oranges represent during the Chinese New Year? Is it A, health, B, good luck or a good omen, or C, longevity? Hmm. Well, according to our AT&T fun fact, the word tangerines in Chinese phonetically sounds similar to good luck or good omen. So the answer is B. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, they were so good, we get to see them again. This board, picture-perfect moment, highlighting some of the best moments we've seen so far tonight. Fast and wild ride, and indeed it was a spectacular parade, befitting of a 15-day celebration. Since it's a year about acting fast, we'd like to take a quick moment to thank everyone involved with tonight's broadcast. And we want to thank you at home for joining us for the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. We leave you now with a beautiful sight on Geary Street as we celebrate the year of the horse and look forward to the year of the ram. Thanks for joining us. Good night. Good night. Happy New Year.